guys how my kindergarten students homework made me rethink how I was teaching constants of proportionality in graphs in tables equations word problems all of it all by this and this was connected to number bonds. And number bonds is what I'm going to use to help you be a better math student with constants. So number bonds. Number bonds are taught in elementary school at a really young age. And I'm trying to think, how can we use number bonds and continue to use number bonds in what we're teaching in seventh grade? And what I've come up with is for my students to understand that every problem is a story. And stories have a beginning, a middle, and an end. The beginning is our X value. It's what we start with. The middle, at least for proportional relationships, is going to be our constant. Our constant can also be the unit rate. Just another way of putting it. And the ending, well, that's our y value. And from here, we can find the constant of proportionality really easily. We're going to do it today with graphs. Watch how easy this becomes with all the different types of graphs that I'm going to show you. So for any graph that we have, we're going to set up our number bond the exact same way each time. We're going to have a beginning. We're going to have a middle. And we're going to have an end. And each piece of our story is going to have a variable that goes with it. The beginning is our x variable, the end is our y variable because they can always change. You'll see in just a moment how they can change. But the one thing that won't change is our constant, our k in the middle. So I'm going to do one big one and then I'll show you a bunch of little ones. But the first thing that we have to find, other than 0, 0, that this is a proportional relationship, are the points of intersection. So I'm going to find one here one here and it looks like it's intersecting a roadway on our graph there's one way up top here I'm gonna do a couple of these but I'm gonna show you each one if I pick any of these points I can put it into my number bond and easily figure out the constant of proportionality thus helping me write an equation that will go ahead and symbolize this graph all I need to know is my y-axis and my x-axis and when I pick the point that I decide on let's pick this one right here I'm just gonna see what Y value and what X value are associated with this point and plug those values into my number bond I have two and I have one now what we know in number bonds is that between our beginning and middle bonds they can only be either added together or multiplied together and then from there, we have to work backwards. We have to work with the end in mind. When we work backwards, we're going to use the opposite operation. In this case, we're trying to multiply between the beginning and the middle. So going backwards is going to give us division. I know that 2 divided by 1 is going to leave me with a number of 2. And right now, that looks like our constant. That looks like the unit rate. It shows that this person is running two miles every one practice. So we can say two miles per practice. And that right there is our unit rate. Now, what if I picked a different point? Well, let me set up another one and see what happens. Our beginning our middle, and our end. If I pick one that's way up here, let's see what the y value that's associated with it, which is 6, and the x value, which is 3, 
3 times what is 6? Well, I'm going to work backwards to find my constant. 6 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3, and that's going to give me 2 again. It gives me the exact same constant. You can do it with any of them. You can do it all the way up here, 10 and 5. 10 is the y value, and 5 as the x value. 10 as the y value, 5 as the x value. I know that 10 divided by 5 is going to give me 2. And so from this, what we can do is not only understand the constant of proportionality is going to be 2 miles per practice, but we can also go ahead and understand the relationship between y and x. y and x are in the equation as y and x when we write the equation because they change. We're not going to write down something that changes. we got to use a variable for something that changes. The one thing that won't change, though, is the constant. Every time they practice, they're running two miles per practice. We can put that into our equation, and now we've written a successful equation.